sleep inducing, isn't he? I'm Bob, the meteorologist. Let's go look at some weather that's not happening anywhere near where we live. <laughs> what for, Bob? Let's go to the map. Let's go to the map. And I'm laying in bed going, what's not? Want to know the weather? Here, let's go to the map. Come on. Let's go to the window. Why we go to the map? I don't understand the map. Why are we at the map? You know, I always feel like an idiot when he goes to the map. I don't know what's going on. He might as well have a rat colon on the map. I have no idea what's on the map. Come on, we're at the map. Pay attention, this is really important. Okay, you see this massive glob of white shit that you don't even understand? <laughs> hanging out in the middle of the ocean where nobody even lives? Well, if this thing goes this way to a place you're not going, heads this way over a lot of people that you could give two shits about. And then settles in this section that you haven't even heard of. Well, a bunch of dairy animals could experience do. I'm Bob. The meteorologist. Now, so I'm laying there. <laughs> so I'm laying there, you know. Shut up, Bob. You're the weatherman. If he was a meteorologist, what would he talk about? That's what I've always said. And it would be a short report, how much could the guy say? Here's Bob, the meteorologist. He'd go, haven't seen any, back to you. It's totally clear out there. No meteors, no asteroids, no Klingons. Fabulous night for space travel if ever I've seen one. Just get that rocket and party down. Back to you, Grimster. Take it away, Grim. Well, thank you for that meteor update, Bob. While you were on, other people died. Here's, here's a bulletin from New York. A gang has dug up a murdered nun and killed her again. <laughs> and now let's go down to Texas where our reporters are attempting to make a tragedy victim cry on the air. <laughs> Always, right? Bad enough, the guy is 80 years old and he's in the middle of the highway and his boxer shorts all confused. <laughs> Got wiped out in the flood, you know. His house is floating away. Do they feel sorry for the guy? Do they help him? No. They're running after him like mice. Sir, sir! You're completely fucked. Any comment? You don't have shit, sir. Any comment? Poor guy's crying. <laughs> Just once, I wish the guy was drunk when I interviewed him, you know? And he didn't care. Totally confused the news guy. You know, he's been slamming wild turkey since his house blew away. He could give a shit, you know? <laughs> Any comment? Hey, fuck off, I feel great. <laughs> really? Man, a thing like this gets you out of the house. I think the couch looks much better in the gas station. How about yourself? You know, with the bunk beds on either side of the highway, the kids aren't fighting as much. So you don't care? Not in the least. What are your plans? I'm going to Disneyland. Well, thank you for that bad news update, Bob. <laughs> and now let's...